Hey everybody, uh, today I'm talking with Remy LeBeouf, an incredible uh, composer and multi-instrumentalist, multi-read player. Um, on my album, he, gosh, Remy, you played alto sax, you played uh, clarinet, you, no, wait, you played flute, alto flute. Can you name all the instruments you played at the session? It was, <laughs> I can't keep track. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was it was alto flute, some clarinet, and some alto sax. Yeah, and you and regular flute, right? I think you played some regular flute as well. Probably, yeah. <laughs> That's Alan Ferber who arranged all the music. Anyway, um, Remy is incredible, and actually, I want to lead by saying that uh, you just released a new album, which, as a radio host on CBC Music, I have had the privilege of not only hearing but spinning. And the music is sublime. So I would love to hear a little bit about your project. Sure. Uh, yeah, that, that latest project's called um, Assembly of Shadows, and it's a jazz orchestra. And uh, I, I put it together a couple years ago, and we just put out our first album. It's been so, so fun writing for everyone and um, getting to explore that side of myself. Right on. And later we'll talk about where people can find you and your music because I know they're going to want to. Um, <laughs> but first, I want to also ask you, uh, where are you? You're in Brooklyn? Yep. I'm in the heart of Brooklyn, right by Prospect Park. Okay. That's actually where my husband and I used to live. Um, so oh. what's, what's the vibe like there right now amidst all the, the coronavirus stuff? Um, it's, uh, there are a lot of people out and about in the park. <laughs> I think a lot of people feel like this is like a vacation. So a lot of like families with their children, but uh, I think it's starting to get a little more serious. The grocery stores are a little crazy, uh, but uh, it's, it's starting to calm down a little bit more. Okay, I'm glad to hear it. Cause I know, you know, on the one hand, uh, like you just said, um, I think some of us are treating it as a mini vacation, I suppose, but the rules are changing by the hour and it sounds like more and more we just need to be on lockdown. I hate that word because it mm -hmm. suggests imprisonment, but I think it's all with, you know, an intended positive end to all of this. So anyway, I'm sending you love uh, from <laughs> Toronto to Brooklyn today. Um, so I first heard about you and your extraordinary brother, Pascal, uh, mm -hmm like decades ago. So in 2001, I played with wow. Sisters in Jazz, I-A-J-E, <laughs> Collegiate Ensemble. And I'll never forget being in New York City. It was in New York that year, the annual conference. Um, and these two young brothers were brought on stage. Did you guys play with a Metropole Orchestra? I can't even remember what the kind. We did a thing at IAJE with, uh, with Chris Potter and John Benitez and Marcus Gilmore. And Marcus was our age. Like he was just some like high school kid at the time, like, like us. And uh, yeah, we, Pascal got, uh, my twin brother got a commission um, for people under 35. They, it was the first time that they had ever gotten a minor and they had to re redo all their contracts. <laughs> How old were you guys? Oh, I think I think we were probably around 15, 15 or 16. Oh. Yeah, so we've been composing for a long time. <laughs> which, is in, which is incredible to me because I didn't even really start playing jazz until I was 15 or 16. So there you guys were, these wunderkinder, and just blowing <laughs> everybody's minds. And, and I've never forgotten you. And I never imagined that, like, you know, uh, not quite two decades later, um, I would have the great pleasure of having you play on my, my new <laughs> album. So really fun kind of full circle moment for me. And because the album is called Out of Dust, I've been asking um, folks to share, you know, what are your tips? What have you guys been doing, you and your girlfriend, to kind of rise out of the dust yourselves, um, you know, during what is kind of a tough time for musicians. I mean, we're all experiencing it in a slightly different way, um, but just curious, you know, to, to get your thoughts on how to get through this unique time. Of course, I've, I've lost some work. You know, my tours got canceled, but honestly, I've been having a really great time. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I just, uh, I've, I've got tons of time to be at home with my girlfriend and she's super fun and we we like to spend time at home together anyway and we feel like we can't get enough time at home 
and awesome. creatively, I just, I feel really fulfilled because I've got all these projects that I've been wanting to work on and I have the time and space to do it. So I'm, I'm writing a, a book for a 12 pieces for solo saxophone. And I, I just like walk over to my rehearsal space 10 minutes away. It's a really peaceful walk. And then I, I just go work on that and I get to really work out on the saxophone because they're all kind of like etudes and I get to write more. And I'm writing some more for big band. I'm writing, I've got a commission for this symphonic jazz orchestra on Long Beach. So I've got, I've got stuff to do. And I think that makes it really easy for me. And I'm also, you know, surrounded, you know, by a person who's wonderful. So we're, we're cooking a lot. Um, I feel like I get to be extra creative because I just have the extra space in my life yeah. for, for this stuff. So honestly, like it hasn't, it hasn't been negative for me at all yet. <laughs> I've been having a great time. Well, I'm yeah. glad to hear that. And, um, I wanted to ask you, do you know when your book is going to come out? That's, that's very cool. Oof, no, but I'll probably finish it in a month. And I want to get it out as soon as possible. There's some other conditions around that, but um, okay. yeah, I'm I'm like posting little little snippets of it on Instagram, like every time I write a new etude. So I finished the eighth etude last night, okay. and I've got I've got four more to go, and it's so much fun. And I'm so get, I love get being dorky about the stacks. Ah, I knew you were a nerd in the best possible way when we worked together. I was like, this guy is on it. Yep. Um, so that's great. You mentioned Instagram and my last question is where can people find you and your music? Oh yeah. Um, my music, you can go to my website, remylabook.com. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Um, uh, just wherever you just have to be able to spell my name, right? That's the hardest thing. You know, if you, if you Google assembly of shadows jazz, yeah. then my, my jazz orchestra will come up and that, that might lead you to the, the right places. Perfect. I have the same issue, even though my name is not nearly as complicated. Oh, yeah. We get a lot of vowels. All the I's and A's. Yeah, it's almost a palindrome. <laughs> and thank God Google will, Google will invariably say, did you mean? Oh, so great. I'm sure people will get the, the did you mean if they misspell your name. But Assembly <laughs> Shadows. That's great. What a fantastic title. Well, thank you so oh, much nice. for being a part of my project. I'm such a fan and oh, so uh, really excited to collaborate with you in other ways going forward and just stay well out there or in there, I suppose. Yeah, you too. And, yeah, we'll <laughs> talk again soon. Bye, Remy. Bye. 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 <laughs>